Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tr Kirby's Dream Course. Wow, I almost didn't even say the name correctly. Um, today we are going to do Extra Course 8, which is the final playable course of the game, or of the one-player mode anyways. So let's get started. Now if you remember correctly, the original Course 8 was quite a bit to take. It looked very intimidating, and getting an ace on most of the holes was actually kind of challenging. You kind of had to learn the tricks of the trade before you could actually do any of that stuff. And Extra Course 8 is pretty much the same way, but there are a lot more holes that are more difficult than the original round. Um, this one is actually not the case. If anyone, if anything, this one's actually a lot easier. As you can see, these enemies are on a straight line, and we have a tornado up here, so maneuverability is not a problem. And we have this one enemy right here. This will be our hole, so let's just do this the way that we should do this. Get the wheel guy first, and then just go up the mountain like normally. And there we go. That's all it takes. Not really that hard. Again, you kind of just have to know the tricks of the trade, and you should be able to get this with very little issue. The only tricky part is right here. Stopping right before the hole. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well. I got close anyways. I probably turned just a bit too soon. Just a bit. Uh, the gold medal requirement for this course is... Whoa. Okay, that's a lot lower than I thought it was. Um, the gold medal requirement is actually a 15, which means a little over or a little under a two per hole average, which is going to be quite tricky because these holes are definitely a lot trickier than you would think. Uh, like this one, for example. I mean, just look at this one. We have to end right here. We have a stone ability right here, but getting this in one stroke is going to be kind of challenging. You kind of have to know how to angle your shot just right. So I'm going to go for a two, even a three, and I'll be satisfied. Okay, let's see if we can do this. I have no idea, but we'll try it. Aw, oh, dang it. I meant to press the B button just as I got the Ice Guy, but or just before I got the Ice Guy, so I could keep the uh, burning ability, but turns out that is not the case, so uh, I have quite a bit to do in order to get this uh, next shot. I could do this. This might actually be enough. And I'll go ahead and hit it over just a little bit. Actually, no, this might be okay, I think. I can't really tell. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough. What? Okay, I don't know why I didn't skip across the uh, water, but whatever. This game, I guess, has its own way of doing things. And it looks like we're going to end up with a 4, which also looks like we're going to have to play this course multiple times, which I am not really that happy about. I was actually looking forward to doing this on my first try, but I guess I can't get that lucky. Which is kind of understandable. But oh well. A 4 is not too bad. I can still recover from this, but it's going to be difficult. I'm kind of three strokes behind where I need to be. But this one's actually pretty easy to get a hole in one on. But now that I say that, I'm probably going to screw it up. I'll go ahead and try it, though. And I think I did get it. Or maybe I didn't. Or maybe I did. Wow, I didn't even know you could hit the Gordo and still get that. Oh, wow, you learn something new every day. I kind of got lucky right there, though, I have to admit. 
But now that takes me down to two strokes where I need to be, I think. Something like that. And now we have this hole. Let's see. What do we need to do here? Well, there is a way to get a hole in one here from the research I did, but doing it that way is actually really difficult, so I'm not going to try to do it that way, but uh, I don't know. It's going to be kind of tricky here. I honestly do not know what to do. I'm going to put on a little bit of top spin right here, just to get away from that warp pad. And see if maybe I can get the ground enemies first, then go up there and get the last enemy up there. Oh shoot, I did not mean to do that. And I didn't mean to do that either. I kind of just screwed myself right now. Because the parasol ability is not going to help me at all in the next hole. The tornado was going to be a lot more beneficial. Oh well, let's see what I can do with the, the parasol. How did I miss that? The parasol's mechanics are kind of weird, I have to admit, but still. I didn't think I missed it by that much. Okay, up to a 10, which is honestly not that great. Okay, so the challenging thing about this hole is this guy right here, the flying snail dude. I don't know why I call him a snail dude, he doesn't look like a snail, but you know, he kind of has that hat on, and yeah, basically he's going to be kind of tricky to get. I mean, I guess I could try to use the burning as soon as I get it, but then I'll risk jumping over this guy, too, so... Yeah, this is going to be kind of tricky, I have to admit. I'll try this. I'm going to tr try just getting to the top of this hill without falling down. I said without falling down. Come on, game, get it right. Okay, I'm not sure what good that did, but whatever. Actually, I could still get this if I put a big enough bounce on it. Okay, I did, alright. But then I rolled off the course, which didn't help anything. Uh, yeah, the parasol wasn't going to help me any way whatsoever, so that's kind of my fault. We do have a high jump, though. And that's probably not going to go in. Didn't think it would, but it might go in on the rebound. And it does, alright. I'm going to see if I can at least get a silver. I don't think I will, especially after that hole. But we'll see. It's still possible. If I remember correctly, the last two holes aren't that bad to get a hole in one on. And this one isn't too bad either. You just have to be really, really good at the UFO. So for this one, we have a UFO guy right here, and if you couldn't guess, he's going to be our ticket for getting the ace on this hole. Not sure if I'm going to have enough speed right here, but... Actually... Come on, come on! Alright! Perfect! I'm actually kind of surprised I got that, to be honest. I think in all the times I've played this hole before this, I've never been able to get that. So that's kind of cool. 
Okay, this one. <laughs> this one's a lot easier than it looks, but that doesn't mean it's going to be a walk in the park either. As you can see, we have all these enemies, and we also have two enemies up here, but they are right next to the warp pad. So, if we angle ourselves on one of the warp pads, we can get the high jump guys and then jump back over the fence and get one of these other guys. So, that's basically what we're going to have to do right here. Now, there is a very weird way of doing this, and I honestly couldn't tell you what that way is because... You know me, I'm not that great at this game. I wish I could be, but I'm not. I'm not too bad, but... Actually, no, that's not going to work. But I'll go ahead and get these guys just to get them out of the way. Hopefully I can... Dang it. I meant to try to get all the guys before I actually stopped, but I kind of screwed that up by running into the wall. So I'm just going to do this instead. I was going to see if I could actually get some of these guys by just blindly using the burning power up, but that didn't exactly work, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna, well I guess I'll get you and see if I can maybe go back the other way and get the other guy. Actually since they're on the diagonal this might not be too hard. Okay, yeah, well, I actually got him. Okay, perfect. Now, if we stop at just the right place, we can maybe get this guy and go to the warp pad, too, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Oh, well. I'll just somehow. Dang it, that would have been fine if I didn't bounce off the warp pad. Oh well. I did end up right here, so... It's gonna be an easy shot to the end, but... I don't think I can get a silver now, but... You know me, I have to do the gold playthrough anyway, so... I am going to have to redo this, and maybe next time I can actually not screw this hole up. And here we are, hole number eight. This was the very fun ability chaining hole that we played before. And it's pretty much the same as it was before, but it is definitely a lot more trickier. And the warp pads kind of go in some very weird locations. But um, I kind of know how to do this. I hope I know how to do this anyways. Um, okay, yeah. I think as long as I get to the third dot and do full top spin, I should be fine. And then of course, bounce up here, hit that. Ah, oh, dang it! Okay, I did not mean to do that, unfortunately. Actually, that might work out. Oh my god, that might actually work out. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't expect it to work out the way it's going to, but it is. Okay, just one part left. This is probably the trickiest part. And I hit it just a bit short. Oh well. That was a pretty good effort though, I have to admit. I'm actually kind of surprised it turned out that well at least. And I'll just do a short shot like this, and I should be fine. And there we go, we got a 2. For a score of 22. It's not a gold, it's not a silver, but it's a decent bronze score, I guess. 
And let's see what we need to fix in my next run. Well, obviously we need to fix holes 2, 7, and 5. I could probably get a hole in 1 on 1 and 8, so I can deduct 2 strokes there. But I will have to definitely work on those other holes. Um, hole 5 was mostly due to me not getting the uh, um, tornado power up at the end of hole 4. Um, hole 2 is a pretty difficult hole no matter how you do it, and um, 7, 7 as long as I can figure out how to do the thing right, then I should be fine, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try that. Let's go ahead and watch the bronze metal Kirby dance. And also, since we have gotten all medals on each of the eight courses, we will get something unlocked. I'll talk about what we unlock at the beginning of the next video, so uh, don't worry about that. So yay, we got something on the title screen, and we'll check that out later. But for now, this is Slim Kirby, and I'm going to try to clean up this course. And once I do, I'll end the video, then I'll show you some extras, and then do the final battle with Day Day Day. So, see you guys next time. Later, folks.